Philosophers still discuss if such a phenomenon as Jewish art exists. And if so, how can it be recognized? Let me give you two extremely different definitions. Number one, there is no such thing as Jewish art because, according to Webster's Dictionary, the term people refers to a group of persons who share a common culture, language, or inherited condition of life in their own territory. The Jews lacked all this for 2,000 years. Currently, the modern state of Israel has been officially in existence for 60 years. Therefore, according to the same philosophers, that 60 years is too short a time for the Jews of Israel to develop their own distinctive culture and art. So, no people, no problem. Number two. Everything created by a Jewish artist is Jewish art. If so, then Levi Strauss' Jeans and the film Jaws by Steven Spielberg are typical examples of Jewish art of the 20th century. Given these two erroneous extremes, is such a concept as Jewish art relevant at all? Absolutely. Jewish art has its own name, given to it by the Creator, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To receive a name from God is a great thing, 